Hey guys, today we're talking about the Nintendo Direct. I was gonna talk about it obviously before like when it happened, but it was just a busy time for me. Um, so we're gonna talk about it today. I have no minds. I thought it was one of the best directs that I've seen in a really, really long time. And that is no exaggeration. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about the games that I find really interesting. Subscribe to the welcome for engagement. Let's get into it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys recommended Pikmin to me and obviously Pikmin 3 came out ages ago and Pikmin 4 is coming out in July 21st. So. I might actually give it a chance because a lot of you guys told me that it's something that I would enjoy and I trust you guys' judgment. Fashion Dream is coming out and a lot of people have been slating it, like people that aren't like cozy gamers or whatever. This reminds me of um, Style Boutique on the 3DS and for some reason that sounds great to me. Um, I know it looks kind of like a, you know, just a, a cheap looking game, that's fine for me. As long as it's not too expensive, I will get it just for the Style Boutique memories because I, I've been waiting for something like that to come to the Switch just purely for the nostalgia. So I'll get that. You're basically like a fashion influencer and you just, instead of having a style boutique or a fashion influencer, they've just basically modernized the idea of um, style boutique. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective is coming out and it's basically a ghost that is trying to solve his own mystery of like how he got killed. And I think that's really cool. I will be trying this out. It's coming out summer 2023. We just have Deca Police, which actually BM Ups and Wolf Den, they have a, podcast together and they talked about how this reminds them of Persona which I know people have recommended Persona to me and obviously this kind of looks similar there's like some combat some storyline I don't know I mean it looks quite cool it's not like at the top of my wish list but I am looking forward to it there is a DLC for Splatoon 3 coming out which is more than necessary I've only played Splatoon 3 for a handful of hours and it just really isn't something that hooked me the way Splatoon 2 did. So I'm hoping with the DLC coming out that reignites some of that like fire for me because I just think there wasn't enough content in Splatoon 3 when it came out. Harmony the Fall of Reverie is coming out in June 2023 and it's kind of like a, a story based game. Like you know the ones that are very much just like a story that you're following and it looks really cool. I mean yeah it's coming out in June. I'm really looking forward to it actually. It looked really amazing. There really wasn't much on like the actual story. It was kind of just like a teaser trailer, but so far it looked great. Disney Illusion Island is coming out, which obviously there are a lot of Disney games coming out. There's Disney Dreamlight Valley, which was also announced here. This is a platformer and I'm not really into platformers. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, it's coming out in July if you really want to get it. We love Katamari Reroll and Royal Reverie is coming out in June. It's basically one of those games where you like roll and you pick up items. It's like a very cozy game. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like a mobile game. So depending on how expensive it is, I'll check it out. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming out. And that is another Kirby game, but it doesn't look like Forgotten Land. It's not like a 3D looking game. It is more of a platformer and it is just a port from the Wii. You, we, and it doesn't look as enticing to me as Forgotten Land did. So this is kind of a skip for me. For the Nintendo Switch Online, like extra, you know how you pay for Nintendo Switch Online and you can pay like an extra amount to get some retro games. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games are coming to that. To be fair, I've been hunting down a Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance because I want to play um, The Legend of Zelda games in order. And obviously there is a different order of how they released versus like the actual storyline order, which I found on the internet. And a lot of that includes obviously Game Boy games, very old school games. And I was like, do I just buy a Game Boy or a Game Boy Advance and then try to play those games? Or do I buy those games and then play on the DS? Cause you can play some Game Boy Advance games on your DS, but they'll still need some other consoles. So this actually saves me a lot of hassle and money because I can just pay for the service and then play some of those Legend of Zelda games. So there's games like Diminished Cap that are coming on here and just other games that were on the Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy that I'm gonna at least try so that I can get a vibe for kind of the whole storyline of The Legend of Zelda because I'm kind of replaying everything. I'm on Skyward Sword right now because that's the first technically in chronological order of the storyline. So I'm playing that on my Switch, but obviously that was remastered for the Switch. The, the controls are very clunky because it was obviously made for the Wii. Um, so the controls are a bit clunky. But anyway, that's my whole spiel on the fact that I'm very excited that I don't have to hunt down any consoles or any extra games. They were Metroid Prime remastered and because I, I was never really, I never played Metroid Prime. Um, I think this was another one of those very hyped releases because everyone was waiting for Metroid Prime. And uh, the remaster looks amazing. The game isn't a game that I would necessarily pick up, but I saw a kind of side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like now versus what it looked like when it first came out. And Jesus Christ, is the remaster amazing looking. So I bet everyone that was waiting for Metroid Prime is very excited. Then we have Fantasy Life, which a lot of people didn't hype up the way I expected them to, but if you guys have been watching my Nintendo channel, you know how much I hyped up Fantasy Life for the 3DS. It was one of my favorite um, kind of life, life sim games on the 3DS after my Animal Crossing um, New Leaf game. And they're doing a sequel essentially called Fantasy Life, The Girl Who Steals Time. It's coming out sometime in 2023. It's made by level five. So if you played Fantasy Life on the 3DS, 
you know, you're in for a treat. I hope, from the trailer, it looked a bit empty feeling. I don't know, it just didn't have the same charm that the 3DS game had, but then again, the trailer was very, just kind of more like a teaser than anything. So I'm hoping for great things, but I'm keeping my expectations low based on the trailer. But I'm so excited. Just the fact that like, there are two games in this um, direct, I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. There's two games in this direct that, I, that I've been essentially waiting for, but like not hoping for, because I didn't think they would come. If you guys have been watching my like collection videos or anything like that, I would always mention these two games on 3DS that I was like, mm, I would love for them to sequel these games, but I just didn't think they would because they're quite like underrated gems. Like no one really, none of the YouTubers that I watched really knew about Fantasy Life. So um, I'm just very excited that this is coming. Then literally right after that is the other sequel that I've been waiting for, Professor Layton and the New World of Steam. I didn't think Professor Layton was gonna come back to the Switch because spoiler alert, <laughs> please, if you haven't played the series, don't listen. It kind of seems, the conspiracy theory going around on the internet was that Professor Layton commits suicide in the last game. And this was just a conspiracy theory going around. It's very, the, the ending was very open-ended to the last game, but a lot of people thought it sounded depressing enough. Like it was very like moody and ominous and it kind of sounded like Professor Layton had died. So yeah, people just didn't think there was gonna be another Professor Layton series. And then that was confirmed by the fact that the game that came out on the Switch that was kind of a sequel to this series was a spin-off with like his niece called Catrell. We just didn't think we were going to get a Professor Layton um, game, but I think based on how much that flopped and how much the original series, like how much hype that series had, I think they kind of realized like, no, we need to make a Professor Layton game. And this really blew my mind. Then we have a Mario 8 Deluxe DLC. Then obviously the last thing in the direct was The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is the thing that I was looking forward to the most. Obviously, I'm a massive fan of the Breath of the Wild game um, and just Legend of Zelda. I'm so excited. I They could have shown me nothing and I would still be excited. They could have shown me the whole game and I would have been excited. They could have shown me anything and I would have been crying and screaming and quivering and quaking. You know, like I just really am looking forward to this. It is confirmed now for the 12th of May. So there is no like more conspiracy theory about it being delayed again. Um, this is the longest we've ever waited in between the Legend of Zelda games. Yeah, I'm just so excited. They have announced a collector's edition and an amiibo, which I'm gonna try to snag both of them. They have announced the game. It's gonna be in pre-order soon. It is 10 pounds slash $10 more expensive. Instead of 60, it's not gonna be 70, 69.99 to be precise, which I actually don't mind personally. I actually think based on how much, how many years of work went into this game, I think let's give them the extra $10 just for the game developers and everyone every single employee that took part in creating this game for the last six slash seven years. Like, you know, I think the $10 is kind of worth that amount of work, but I don't want to also promote the increasing of prices because wow, these games are getting expensive. Mainly we have more than one console and you're buying like games for more than one console. Good luck. Like this is really starting to become an investment. I'm so looking forward to this. The trailer didn't show too much. I also don't think it showed enough. Like I think this was very much like another kind of teaser trailer. Like this was like, hey, We'll give you a little bit more information, but I literally got chills at the end and it's so good. I almost cried. I was like, this is so emotional for me. Mainly because everyone's saying that Zelda is gonna die in this series. And when I was telling it to my boyfriend, I almost started crying because I'm very emotional about this. So I'm looking forward to this. Please lend him your power. I do still hope that they're gonna announce another Switch. I know that the OLED switch was leaked on the internet, but people thought it was fake. I thought it was fake because I thought it looked ugly. That's just my honest truth. But some people are saying that because there's that $10 price increase, now matching the prices up to PlayStation and Xbox games, are they going to last minute announce like a Switch Pro or something, hence why the extra price tag, then like that would make uh, it the first game for the new Switch and therefore the first like more expensive game because it's for a new hardware. I'm still hoping and praying for a new Switch because I think this game would run so much better if like this Tears of the Kingdom game. It looks amazing and it looks like it's already built upon the other games. So it looks like it's like even more content. I just think that would work really well on a more powerful Switch, but I'm just hoping and praying. But I'll take anything they give me, honestly. So yeah, that was the Nintendo Direct. I'm so excited about it. Um, we have so many games to play. I've started playing PlayStation the other, like recently. I just got it recently. I was telling you guys I was gonna get it and I did. I've got The Last of Us, you know, I've got enough games to play on there. I'm gonna get the pass and I'm gonna play Stray and just a few other bits and bobs over there. So my first half of the year is really packed packed full of games. And then once Tears of Kingdom come out, I am booked and busy for the foreseeable future. So let me know what you guys are most excited for with the Nintendo Direct and anything else. Subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.